I'll try scraping this adhesive off the casting using the back edge of my scalpel here. Obviously I need to avoid inflicting any deep gouges into this body but the bright marks are pretty much inevitable when you're scraping a uh, somewhat oxidised aluminium casting and they'll cause us no problem. Here the adhesive had run in underneath front plate So what can you tell from a camera when you see it in this sort of condition? Well clearly it was someone's failed repair attempt just judging from the number of missing parts. But at what stage did it become there? All the other stuff that we can see with the camera was the problem with the unsuitable adhesive, was that something that was done by the same hand that had left pieces out of the camera or incorrectly assembled it? It's hard to say. I think that my, the truth is the camera's probably passed through a number of hands and two of them didn't do it any favours. On that chrome brass trim there, that'll probably come off with solvent quite well. I'm not going to scrape at that. Let's do this side. Yep. Obviously it's best to do this a task like this while the camera is completely stripped down prior to any cleaning. Because others, otherwise, if you were to leave this to the last stage when you were going to put the new leatherettes back, you would be generating all this loose filth to fall down into the mechanism. When I start reassembling the camera, I really will need it to everything to be clean. This is the hinge end, and again on that chrome brass hinge, solvent should shift that adhesive for me, I won't need to scrape it that. It's more efficient to use a scraper to get the adhesive off the body casting. And the base of the camera, of course, is the same thing. Here I think I've got another layer of adhesive, there's an extra layer, that's a different adhesive again. So we've got the brown muck and on top of that we've got some clear adhesive. Now what that was I've got no idea, could have been a woodworking adhesive, could have been anything, it's not super glue. For that we can be very thankful, and it's not epoxy.
this boss in the middle of the base plate is intended to couple with various accessories for the retina cameras, camera stands and so forth. It's anodized aluminium. Um, it marks reasonably easy. So when you're scraping around it to get rid of adhesive, try not to be scraping up the side of that thing. Not the end of the world if you do. You can disguise any marks there very effectively with a uh, Sharpie marker. Particularly if you can find one that's not too glossy or doesn't give that purpley effect that you often get with black markers on metal. And anyway, it's at the base of the camera and no one is going to see the base of the camera except you on very rare occasions. Yeah, it's, it's run right down into the edges of the camera here. Yeah, I think it's fair to say we've got two applications badly done of adhesive here. That'll do. Look at all that rubbish that's come off. Now that bush in the bottom of the body here that won't come out. I'm going to put a bit of solvent around that, see if I can pop that loose. And clean down the rest of the body. When I'm splashing around solvents, I've got to be careful not to get it on the leatherette here. Or depending on the solvent I choose not to get it on the paint. Here's the chrome trim from the base of the camera. This has got two layers of adhesive on it. Um, I think that might be worth putting that through the ultrasonic cleaner. That might shake some of that rubbish loose. The front plate here appears to have one layer of adhesive on it. Oh, one badly done layer of adhesive. The original adhesive is either not present anymore or it's not causing any problems. That's a cover plate, that bright aluminium circle coming up there. That's to allow you to adjust the tension of the cord, meter cord. It's been pushed in so that the glue was filling up the hollow there. I want to flatten that out before I can do anything useful with that. Some adhesives run down the back of this. I think we'd already noted that. I want that off. That side's good. This side. You'll note the difference in the way the adhesive comes off different metals. This is brass. You can see it came off that quite easily. Um, the aluminium cast body here, it was a bit reluctant to come off there. But it did. Okay. This I'm going to put through the ultrasonic cleaner. The other bits I'll carry on cleaning with solvent now. Well, acetone didn't make much of an impression on that. The clear or the white adhesive came off well with the acetone. The brown stuff did not. So I'm trying something else. This is CRC ElectroClean. Yeah, that stuff's softening up now. Okay. I'll spray some directly on there. 
and leave it to soak. That certainly appears to be the, yeah, look, it's turning into a jelly, it's softening up. That's interesting, acetone wouldn't touch that. That's good. That's cleaning away. Let's put some more on here. And then I'll put some on a cotton bud. And hopefully that filth will all come off. That looks like it. That looks like that did the job. And this, of course, it's, some of it's run down underneath. Let's get that off. Some of that muck has doubtless run down there while I've been cleaning this. And some of it was probably had run down when it was applied to the camera. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to run that through the ultrasonic once more, but otherwise that's going to be a very good base plate there. Well, I'd call that a good result. That looks like a new part now. Probably the, the prettiest part of the whole camera. So there you go, that was a combination of using the ultrasonic cleaner with hot water and domestic detergents solvent and a um, bit of scraping with a wooden toothpick but that's completely clean that's a good result I can carry on the rest of the cleaning now well here's the body uh, I've scraped off all the excess adhesive there I'll need to get at the rest of it with some solvent but first of all I'm going to take a paintbrush and uh, some compressed air and blow out all the dust and rubbish that I've managed to get into it, all the crevices there just from that's residue from the adhesive I've scraped off first I'd like this piece here out of the body now that's just stuck in that's glued in that's that's adhesive that's run down into the body from whoever had applied it to the leatherette yeah that's off you can see a glob of it glued down in there. And that had no business being glued in place. That's just a, um, a symptom, an obvious symptom of too much glue in the wrong place. And in this case, the adhesive that's coming off here is the clear stuff. By the looks of this. So I'll clean all that up with a bit of solvent and then I should be good to go. Normally of course this little piece which just forms the center that the film cassette sits in in the camera body it's very rare for that to be stuck in place there's no reason for it to be stuck so the camera body
We're in the picture, we're just in the picture and no more. So I'll use some solvent here and see if I can get rid of all this excess rubbish on the base. It's pretty good. It's nowhere near as bad as that uh, chromed brass trim was. And this won't look clean and shiny, but it'll be flat and smooth. And so it means that I'll be able to get the leatherettes, the new leatherettes, or the existing leatherettes cleaned up, to stick properly and to sit flat and smooth. And not look like they've got a whole extra layer of texture than they were originally intended to have. These recesses here where the chrome trim sits down into that base plate and of course there shouldn't be any adhesive down there and it would stop the chrome trim from sitting where it's supposed to sit so it wouldn't sit level that's fine now I need to deal with these front edges. I've got to be careful not to get any solvent on this leatherette at the back of the camera. It um, doesn't go well if you do things like that. The vast bulk of the adhesive here is already off. It's been scraped off. But I want to use the solvent to get it up, the last remnants of it off if I can. Or at least lumps and bumps. You can feel when there's roughness there. You just tell that there's still some rubbish on there. Well, I have the body cleaned up to my satisfaction now. That's fit to good to use. But while I was cleaning it, I heard a popping sound, and the back catch button and spring had popped loose from the body. Now these aren't particularly easy to get back in position. But what I've discovered in the past is that if I take a pin vise and use that to hold the button, put its spring in position, using my finger to slide the back catch right down to the bottom, I can spin that button back into position with the pin vise, even get it tight enough, loosen off my pin vise and lift that off, and there's the button back in position. So I wasn't expecting that, that was just a, a bonus I suppose you could say. But I have the body casting here, all clean now to my satisfaction. That's fit to be reassembled, for the camera to be reassembled. This video camera's having a hard day, isn't it? This is all ready to go, and I suspect that now I should be able to um, get my parts back from the ultrasonic cleaner. They've already been through the solvent cycle. They will be getting done with the detergent as soon as they're back from that. I'll be able to start putting everything back together and uh, replacing missing parts as I go. As I was cleaning the parts, I came to this piece which is the trim from around the uh, lens around at the front. And of course it's very chipped, it's lost an awful lot of paint. And it occurred to me it might be a good idea to repaint this before I put it back on the camera. So then I thought about the rest of the state of the camera 
and I looked at my leatherettes that have come from the front of the camera. And in particular I was looking at this line here where somebody peeled back the leatherette and it just let it flex like a hinge. And basically the surface of the leatherette's quite broken up at that point and possibly it's worse on this side because it's not even a straight line. So it occurred to me I might want to use the set of leatherettes, the aftermarket leatherettes that I'd purchased. And if I did that, I'd want to use the aftermarket leatherette on the camera back as well probably, so I had a full set that matched. Now the back here is quite good. There's a few scuffs on the edges in the paint. So I'm faced with the option here, I could lift this leatherette off, hope to get it off in one piece, but it looks to be stuck very well. I'd want to retain it so that I could use it on something else. And the alternative, since I'm going to be replacing the leatherette, is to use a part, something from my parts boxes. And here's a good back. It's got scuffs in the paint here and here. The leatherette's ruined. It's got a great gouger here. It looks to me, because I can see an outline, and I don't know whether you, it comes out clearly in the picture, but there's a rectangular outline here. Now that almost certainly had some nameplate or similar glued to the back of that, and someone's peeled, pulled it off, and in pulling it off, they've pulled the leatherette off with it. So they've taken a back that was probably quite tidy. I don't know what the nameplate had, perhaps it was the name of an institution or the name of an individual. But whatever it was, the owner didn't like it, went to peel it off, and in, in doing so, they've made a big mess. So this is quite a useful back, apart from its scuffs. But if I'm going to be repainting this, it's no great problem to repaint this door at the same time. So I'm going to take this back, this with the damaged leatherette, strip the leatherette from it, clean it completely, and then I'll repaint this, repaint this, and I will reassemble the camera completely covered with the aftermarket leatherette set that I purchased some time ago. If I can get this leather off fairly well intact, I'll use it to cut some circles of leatherette to use as uh, patches for advanced levers. If I can't get the leatherette, leatherette off in one piece, well, I'm no worse off than I currently am. So that's what I'll do, and there may or may not be much for you to see here. It all depends how smoothly things go. Certainly painting tends to be a time-consuming operation, and I'm not going to bother showing you all of that. But I'll see if I can get this leatherette off. Next time you see me, I will probably have fully painted parts and I'll be ready to reassemble the camera.